welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the line of best fit to the following data using a part x as independent variable, b part x as dependent variable. And this data is given to us. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should do some results. First is the regression line always passes through the point x bar y bar that is the mean and when x is an independent variable then the regression equation is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar the whole where y bar is the mean value of y x bar is the mean value of x and the regression coefficient b y x is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx square where dx is equal to x minus x bar and dy is equal to y minus y bar that is dx and dy are the deviations of the variables x and y from the arithmetic means of the series. And when x is a dependent variable that is when y is independent variable then the regression equation is x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar the whole where the regression coefficient bxy is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy square. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now here we have to find out the line of best fit to the following data. Now the lines of best fit are the regression lines. Now to determine the regression lines, first of all, we will form a table for the given data. So we have made a table for the given data. In the first column, we have different values of x. In the second column, different values of y. And in the next column, we will find dx. Then in the next column, we will find dy. In the next column, dx into dy. Then in the next column, dx square. And in the last column, we will find dy square. Now, these are the different values of x. Now, we will find the mean value of x, which is x bar. 
Now on adding all the values of x, summation x is equal to 81. Now the number of observations, here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Therefore, x bar, that is the mean value of x, is equal to summation x over the number of observations, that is n. So summation x is 81, number of observations are 9, so x bar will be equal to 9. So dx will be equal to x minus x bar, which is equal to x minus 9. Similarly, we will find the mean value of y. Now, on adding the different values of y, summation y is equal to 63. So, y bar, that is the mean value of y, is equal to summation y over n, which will be equal to, now summation y is 63, and number of observations are 9, so this will be equal to 7. Now dy is equal to y minus y bar, which will be equal to y minus 7. Now we will find the value of dx, which is equal to x minus 9. Now the first value of x is 2. So dx will be equal to 2 minus 9 which is equal to minus 7. Here the value of x is 3. So dx will be equal to 3 minus 9 which is equal to minus 6. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. 7 minus 9 is minus 2. 10 minus 9 is 1. 12 minus 9 is 3. 13 minus 9 is 4, 14 minus 9 is 5, and 15 minus 9 will give 6. Now for dy, we will use this formula, which is equal to y minus 7. Now the first value of y is 1, so dy will be equal to 1 minus 7, which is equal to minus 6. Now next 2 minus 7 will give minus 5. Then 6 minus 7 will give minus 1. 4 minus 7 will give minus 3. 9 minus 7 is 2. 11 minus 7 is 4. 8 minus 7 is 1. 10 minus 7 will give 3. 12 minus 7 is 5. Now we will find dx into dy. For this we will multiply these values of dx with all these values of dy. So here minus 7 into minus 6 will give 42. Minus 6 into minus 5 is 30. Minus 4 into minus 1 will give 4. Here it will be 6. 1 into 2, 2. 3 into 4 will be 12. Here it will be 4. This gives 15 and 6 into 5 will be 30. Now when we find dx square, for this we will square the values of dx. Minus 7 square is 49. Minus 6 square is 36. Minus 4 square is 16. Minus 2 square is 4. 1 square is 1. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. 5 square will give 25, 6 square will give 36. Similarly, we will find dy square. Minus 6 square will give 36, minus 5 square will give 25, minus 1 square will give 1, minus 3 square will give 9, 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, 1 square is 1, 3 square is 9, and 5 square is 25. Now we will add all these values in this column. On adding all these values, summation dx into dy is equal to 145. Now we will add all the values of dx square. So we get summation dx square 
is equal to 192. And now we will add all the values of dy square. So summation dy square will be equal to 126. Now using this result and this result which is given in the key idea the regression coefficient bYx is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx squared. Now summation dx into dy is 145 and summation dx squared is 192. So this will be equal to 145 over 192. Now the regression coefficient bxy is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy squared. Now summation dx into dy is 145 and summation dy squared is 126. So this will be equal to 145 over 126. Now we have to form a regression equation using x as independent variable. Now using this result which is given in the key idea the regression equation of y on x when x is independent variable is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar the whole. Now x bar is equal to 9, y bar is equal to 7 and b y x is equal to 145 by 192. Putting all these values here, this implies y minus 7 is equal to 145 over 192 into x minus 9 the whole which further gives on cross multiplying 192 y minus 1344 is equal to 145 x minus 1305 which implies 145 x minus 192 y Plus 1344 minus 1305 is equal to 0, which further gives 145x minus 192y plus 39 is equal to 0. So this is the integration equation of y on x when x is an independent variable. Now let us start with the second part. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, the regression equation of x on y when x is dependent variable is x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole. Now bxy is equal to 145 by 126 and x bar is equal to 9 and y bar is equal to 7. Putting all these values here, this implies x minus 9 is equal to 145 by 126 into y minus 7 the whole. 
Now this implies on cross multiplying 126x minus 1134 is equal to 145y minus 1015. Which implies 126x minus 145y minus 1134 plus 1015 is equal to 0. Which further implies 126x minus 145y minus 119 is equal to 0. So this is the regression equation of x and y when x is dependent variable. And this is the regression equation of y on x when x is independent variable. So we have between the lines of regression, that means we have determined the lines of best fit. So this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.